Hello everyone, I'm Kirk Stevens, and welcome to Subnautica. I'm uh, going to do something a little different tonight. We've been doing Long Dark from about April till now, and so I thought we'd try to do something a little different. Um, one of the Discord uh, groups that I'm involved with, uh, somebody was talking about their uh, very first playthrough of this, and it kind of brought some nostalgia back, and... I decided I hadn't played this since I had made some upgrades, and so I thought, hey, why not? We'll uh, we'll give this a playthrough. So in this particular one, because I haven't played it in quite some time, we're going to just play the survival version. I'm not going to play the hardcore uh, permadeath thing on this particular run. If we do any more runs down the road, we'll uh, we'll go with that one. But on this particular one, we're just going to play survival. And we're just going to get into it. And here we go. Okay. We'll grab said extinguisher. Unless I can put this fire out without catching myself on fire. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive, to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Why, thank you, Altera. Okay. Let's put that away. We will grab one water, one food, just to be on the safe side. But we'll try to grab some fish and make water. So here we are. Crash landed on a hostile planet. We'll take the medical kit. So we're going to be really vulnerable. And pretty much... The way that I played this, um, obviously the first time through, it's, it's all ooh and ah, and that if you play it multiple times, you kind of learn how to, uh, you know you need certain things to start, you need certain things to get to the next step, to get to the next step, get to the next step. So um, this is basically, we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and... and kind of walk through what I'm going to do not necessarily like a tutorial but more or less we're going to decide the things that are important things we need to fix uh, and and things to help us get through the storyline so obviously we need to get a repair tool uh, it's one of the items available here um, if we look under personal and tools and the item we need is this particular item which requires silicone rubber cave sulfur and titanium titanium is pretty easy to get and then the scanner is also really important this will allow us to scan items out in the world and not only tell us what they are but they will also um, tell us how to build certain things so we will find technology that we need to uh, replicate and um, that will survive the other thing is equipment now we're pretty much just in a wetsuit at this point 
what we really need is we need to build a O2 tank and we could really use swim fins. Now the nice thing is, as you notice, this requires silicone rubber and so does the repair tool. And titanium is pretty easy to find. So right now I think what we need to do is we need to take a step in and out and we'll go up top and we'll get a nice little beauty shot of the world around us. And uh, we'll go look for some of the items we need to get uh, a scuba tank and some swim fins because that will help us with speed and help us stay under the water. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Nice one big ship. It's very, very pretty. Very, very sparse landscape. Okay, let's take our first dive in. Right. Oh, and we're in a really good spot. You will you will spawn in little different areas, and this particular little tube is a plethora of really good loot right up the bat. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely. Plausible. Oh, unlikely. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Come on, come here. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. See, without the air tank, we can't stay under very long. We can't swim very fast. So we're kind of at the uh, slowest point. Fit all the fish out swim us. It's pretty slow going. Gather some of these fish up. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go back and make these fish. Because we're going to need supplies. Now, the pink bladder fish are a way to make water. And then we'll cook the other two. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. And that's absolutely scrumptious. Okay, so you can take the salvage metal that you find and you can replicate it down into titanium. So titanium is very, very easy to, uh, to obtain. So that's going to allow us to build our first scuba tank. And now you've noticed over the O2 is now up to 75. And we can now build a high capacity tank, which requires a little more stuff. So we'll start looking for that so that we can stay under the water even a little bit longer. Now, in order to make the silicone, we need to find some little fruit-looking things on the creep vines. They look like they'll be glowing, and there's, there we go, a bunch of them. So we'll grab some of these, and we'll make some silicone rubber. Say I don't think our inventory is that full. Oh yeah, we can grab more. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further Come study on. recommended. Trying to find a hitbox here. There it is. The 
30 seconds. I gotcha. Okay, so now we'll head back and we'll go make some swim fins. And that will allow us to swim quite a bit faster. It'll also allow us to catch fish a little easier. Let's see if we can get this guy. Yeah, see, they just can outrun us. Sometimes, like that, you catch them when they're turning. Let's see if we can get another water fish. Oh, no, he's going to get away. Swim fins will help a lot with that. Hook him up. Okay. So what we need is this. It takes two to make that. So we'll just make everything we got into that. And let's see, maybe we've got enough there. All right, let's make the fins. The fabricator draws from Fantastic. available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Thank you, Aurora. Okay, and then uh, while we're here, this wasn't something I was thinking about doing, but we'll go ahead and make this knife. This will allow us to cut certain items Weapons to give us from give us more materials to work from. The Sorry the to interrupt you. The only exception. Okay, so we need this standard tank, which we're wearing. We need some glass, which we need uh, quartz to make. We need more titanium, which is easy enough. The tougher one to find will be the silver. That requires us to do a little diving. So let's see if it's nighttime yet. It'll make it a little harder to get into the deeper portions and being able to see. But as you can see, we can swim a little faster now. And this is what we need in order to do glass. So we're going to get some of this. And I'm going to try not to get too far away from the habitat. Hard to see at night in some of the areas. Now I'm going to grab a couple of these acid mushrooms. We're going to need those in order to build a battery. But we need to start working towards the surface because we're going to run out of oxygen soon. Grab you on our way up. And let's go ahead and make our battery. We're going to need it for the repair tool. Blueprint. Copper wire. Let's go ahead and make some glass. And we may have to stop here because our power is only 75 units and it's charged solarly. And with it being nighttime, we're not going to be able to do much more. So let's go ahead and get the water. And I guess we'll do two waters. Build that. So we got the glass. We need a little bit more titanium. And we need to find some silver. And then we got a whole bunch of stuff in our inventory. So let's go ahead and we'll make some lubricant. We'll need some of this down the road. Lubricant Not right away, but... In construction of vehicles and power plants. So we'll make up some of this and we'll store it. So we'll go over our storage. And 
And we'll put some of this water away. We don't need all these quartz and this copper. And we'll put the battery away. We'll take... Nope, we want the food. We want that. Okay. Is this ready? Oh, we'll take that too. This will slowly recharge, so I try to grab them and keep extras. I always try to keep one with me. So, let's see if it's starting to get daylight here. Eh, sort of. We'll see if we can find There's some more titanium salvage. Don't want to grab too much. The silver is going to be a little deeper than the rest of the... Um, the, the rest of the ores, it, it's generally the the more refined the ore is, the deeper it is. So titanium, copper seem to be very up on the upper ends of the water uh, depth. As you go deeper, you get silver and gold and that. And as you go further down, you'll get lead and lithium and different, uh, different ones, depending on the depth. Hello, Sunrise. And this will make it a lot easier as we start to delve deeper and deeper. Now this is some of the wreckage. And this is what we need the scan gun for. We'll find little tidbits like this particular thing is a grav trap. Detecting and you can... increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Thank you, Aurora. And then I'll, there'll be a lot of these little containers here that will have that'll be open, and they'll have little tidbits that um, you can't do anything with unless you build it. So, like this is a beacon; um, those are great for leaving markers. So this is going to be nice to come over here and scan this stuff. Let's go up and get some oxygen. Thirty seconds. Okay, so now we'll try to dive a little bit deeper in this section here and see if we can't find us some silver. That will be greatly helpful. Now these are great plants right here. These are, these brain coral, if you kind of hover above them, they will belch out little bubbles and they'll refill your scuba gear if you don't get attacked by the local fisheries. Like I said, we did get in a good spot. This is also a piece of wreckage. This is a sea moth deal. If we scan that, we would get uh, the blueprints for that after so many scans. Titanium. Let's go over here to this brain coral. And so, I, okay, now I see what we're looking for. Get some oxygen here. These are nice because they don't you don't have to go back to the surface. You can kind of uh short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Thank you, Aurora. Okay, so the rock style we're looking for is this style here. The sandstone. And that's some gold. So if we can find some more of those, the gold and the silver tend to be in those. And we'll go swim around here and see. This style here tends to be the uh, copper and the titanium. We'll go ahead and grab some of those copper is really important early on. And then here's some more wreckage. And this also will be great for scanning. Let's go back, find a brain coral here so we don't have to go back up. 30 seconds. I'm on it. Oh, must just way over there. All right, we're gonna go up. 
This is why we want to build that deeper tank. It'll let us stay under the water just a little bit longer. I'm on it. I'm on it. All right. So let's see if we can find some more of those sandstone things. We're pushing our our limits here by doing this, but oh, there's one right there. We just need to find a silver. There it is. Oh, we don't want to go over there. That little spiny thing. Lead. We'll take it. It's not really what we need, but we'll take it. No, nope, can't get to that one. There's these little spiny things right here. They are brutal if you hang out there too long. I uh, yeah okay this will work we'll get this and we'll go over here to the coral another silver good that'll help all right let's go over here and refill these little these little things are so fun because they can you can kind of just hover here and and get your bearings and take a look around and you can stay under the water for a lot longer really kind of plan out what you're doing early on. Okay. I think we're good. I'm going to go ahead and head back. The one item we haven't grabbed yet is cave sulfur. And that is fun to get early on. Because you have to outswim these little fish that are just a Pain in the butt. Let's see if we can find one here. Actually, you know what? Let's get some more oxygen here. And then we'll go uh, cave diving here. One more time. Okay. Oh, we got lots of room. I was going to say, I don't know how much I can pick up, but... Detecting right. sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur yeah. is an essential component of the repair tool. Thank you for confirming that. More titanium. Let's see if we get some more. There's some gold. That's helpful. Lead will come in handy soon. Nope, that's not one. Let's see if I can find these little pains in the butt. We'll need more of those later. These are eggs. Creature eggs. You can pick those up and actually hatch them and have like your own little aquarium later in the game when you can start building habitats. You know what? Let's... I don't know how the heck you would do this in real life, but let's go ahead and eat and drink. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find this coral. Oh, come on, where are you? The sulfur's nearby, but it's not nearby. Let's see if it's in this other cave. Nope. See if there's any more caves over here. We do really need the uh, the cave sulfur. I don't know if we're gonna find it over here, but this is a good find. Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. She's so helpful. 
I hear you. These thermal vents are actually a great source of uh, power for your uh, your habitats as the game wears on. one that's got the disease all right let's mosey down through here let's see if we can find a cave Sometimes this is the trickiest part of all this is depending on where you spawn in at, you can be close to different things and looks like the cave sulfur is going to be our, our problem child at this point. But we will find it. Another lead. Nice. Where did that go? That noise is a tooth breaking off, and later in the game, those teeth are important. So, so don't want to hang around. We don't have much defense against these little creatures, but they're not really all that harmful. Ooh, more silver. Great. Now, if we could just find us some of that sulfur. Grab you. How's that? There we go. We need some water. Oh, here we go. Let's utilize this. Let's poke her head in here and see if we can find anything. This looks way too open. But you'll know when you find them because they're noisy. They're very loud fish that protect the cave sulfur. Come on, we only need one. Where are you guys at? in that big tunnel. That's okay. I think that's actually close to where we want to be. I think if we go through the other section here that opens up, I think we will find what we're looking for. Lots of creature eggs. No? Okay, let's go back the other way. Maybe down here? Nope, that leads out. 
goodness gracious, having all kinds of trouble finding these guys. I hear you. All right, let's go back. Go make some water here. And we'll go try in another section here. We'll go closer to the Aurora. I don't need that just yet. Let's go ahead and break down the salvage. And put some of this other stuff away. And that's it. That's all the storage we got. Can't wait till we can find our our sulfur so we can make the tools we need. Ooh, I think this is it. Yeah, we just were in the right spot. This little doohickey right here. Little fishy's gonna come out of here and he's gonna chase us. And he's gonna blow up. And it always hurts. But that's one. Let's see if we can find any more in here. And if we don't, one is enough for the moment. There's one. Get out of there. Ouch. Okay. Let's get back to the habitat. Or should I say escape pod? Let's grab a couple more of these because we're going to need a battery. Actually, let's do one more and grab three. We can make a couple more. And now we should be able to make it. What do we need here? We need the rubber. Let's grab a couple of those just to be safe. And the repair tool. Okay, so let's assign a tool here. Oh, did I put the knife away? Did. I want to keep the knife. Magic repairs. Light pod secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. Okay, that'll clear up the smoke. The other repair is the radio. So in other words, you're not being rescued. But this is the important part. This, you will get messages from other life pods. You will not find any survivors. That's kind of a spoiler, I guess. And But it will lead you to items of interest. It will help you uh, build more stuff. So it's worth visiting those life pods. Okay, so now what we really need is this right here. We actually have the means to build a battery because we have picked up the items to do so. And scanner. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Day or night? Still kind of nighttime. All right. Here, 
let's see what we can. We need some dinner here. Let's go see if we can grab some food here. There's one peeper. Grab some more water bladders. All right. A regular seafood buffet. We have a little of everything. Synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Thanks for the pep talk. Okay. Let's get our vitals all nice and filled up. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and build that. That can be extremely helpful in the darker recesses of the ocean when we're searching for stuff. Now the big one is this one. We need another glass and the other thing. So let's grab two of those. Make our glass. Okay, and then we have to take off the tank, so we have to Click there, and this should allow us to make the high capacity tank. So you notice that we took that off, we went down to 45. So now if we build this and equip it, we go from 75 to 135. Now the next item we should build is this. Now we have the ability to make a wiring kit, and this is helpful. Oh, wrong tune. So this is a rebreather. It recycles the CO2 and this allows you to dive deeper. So when you're diving below 100 feet, um, you don't lose the oxygen quite as quickly. So let's go cut some creep vines and get us that. And if we get anything to scan, we'll do that as well. Because the next item we really want to get, and hopefully we'll get it here real soon, because I was going to try to make these recordings fairly short, somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes. But um, what we're looking for now is a thing called the Sea Glide. And what we want with that is movement. It's going to allow us to move around faster. It's our first step to going a little deeper, our first step to going a little further, and it really will make uh, the next part of the game a little easier. Then th that's when we're going to start searching wreckage and going to some of these other life uh, boats and uh, getting more recipes or blueprints. So let's make some of this. Rebreather. Okay, so we're wearing the rebreather. We got our fins and we've got our deep tank. So this is pretty good for right now at this part of the game. Let's take that out of there and start generating one more of those. And where's the Aurora at? Let's get our bearings here. It's over here. So let's go this way. Now, from experience, the front of the aurora up here where the circle is, this is where it starts to turn into some really deep water. And this particular cloud that's right here, also from experience, this is where one of the... Continued degradation of the aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Thank you, Aurora. This particular cloud here is actually hiding an island. 
And then if you look behind us here, this is another island. They'll both be important for us later down the road, but we're going to need a meets to, to get to them. It's a long swim to do it uh, without transportation. So at this point, we're going to get out our handy-dandy scanner and hopefully find the bits and pieces we need to build the sea glide. And so what we're looking for are these items like this. And as you can see, there's a sea glide fragment in here. And we're going to scan it, and we need to find one more. That one is closed. We'll get this grab trap. You don't use those very often. They're okay. It's one of those things like if you're playing the game for the first time, build everything. Just enjoy the run. Build everything. Because you won't know whether or not you need it until you actually have used it. And then when you do your second or third run, you can go, oh, okay, I really don't need this item. Or I don't need this item. I like the beacons. The beacons work really well for marking important spaces. There's some caves that are really important uh, when I do these playthroughs. Um, there's also... Um, there's no location for your base. So if you build at your early base, there's no location marker for it. So unless you build a beacon, you can... You can get lost and not find it. All right, so let's go get some air. And I'm going to go scan anything over in this area. There's going to be quite a few little bits and pieces. And hopefully we'll find another sea glide. Good lord. We are deep. And we need to do this quickly. Because an event is about to happen that's going to make this area difficult to navigate. But let's go check these little boxes. Let's see if we can find anything. Nothing in those. Oh, go away. And we'll just scan everything. Everything can be useful or not. You never know what you're going to use, what your situation is. Come on, let's have another sea glide firmer. That's what we want to build. We want to build the sea glide. Alright. I'm going to head towards this little rain coral here and get some more oxygen. And we'll see if we can find any more little wreckage fragments along here. Probably not going to find a sea glide that deep. They usually put it in the shallower waters. Kind of where we were a minute ago up there. One more time, please. Okay. And we'll just kind of cruise around here. See if we can't find any more wreckage. There we go. That's sea moth, but... Okay, that little icon that's up in the corner there means we're getting a radio signal. That is my favorite transportation in the game. The sea moth is so um, so much fun in this game. Yeah. Not what we were looking for, but we need that to. Again, I think we're a little deeper than we need to be. 
Sure, why not? Let's understand what it is. Sea glide climber. There's more wreckage. Oh, here we go. This is this will probably be it. This is what we need. Let's hope we can find it here. These ones all look closed. Yeah. Okay. Are you the lucky one? No, you're not. You're closed, too. Come on. Give up your secrets. Fragment. Titanium fragments. Okay, here we go. Here's some more wreckage. Maybe we'll get lucky over here. That one is closed. Goodness. All kinds of goodies, but the one we want. There's a box. Sea glide. Yay. Now let's go build it. We're so far from home. All right, so we're going to build the sea glide. And we'll take it for a real quick spin, and then we'll call this uh, an episode. And then that way, when we come back with the Sea Glide and the radio message, which we won't listen to, we'll save that for also next time. And then we'll start um, doing some discoveries of the other life pods and start building even a little more stuff. Hopefully, we can start building habitat because that's when the, the real fun comes in. So. So we need a battery, a lubricant, and copper wire. So here's our lubricant. We need to make copper wire and a battery we have. So make copper wire. And where is it? There it is. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Sound advice, sound advice. All right. 
grab two more of those because I always like to keep an extra battery but this is how much faster this is we can really zoom around so now f catching fish is a lot easier if I can aim right and now we can really book it so this is gonna make our exploration faster we're going to be able to go to uh, some deeper wreckages. We'll be able to climb back up to the surface to get oxygen easier. But because it uses batteries, I always like to keep a spare. Because there's nothing worse than getting into a situation where you don't have the spare battery. And right now, we can't recharge batteries, but that will become a thing down the road should make food, feed ourselves. Okay, whoops. Eat that, drink that. And okay. So when we get back, we'll uh, We'll fire up this first message, go find out what LifePod is asking for our assistance, and then we will go from there. The, uh, the next step will be to start uh, figuring out what we need to build the habitat deal, which uh, that'll be this particular one. So we're going to need a computer chip, wiring kit, and battery. So that means more silver. The computer chip takes some copper, gold and some other materials but we'll get into that on the next run so thank you for uh joining me on this little journey and when we get to the next one it'll uh we'll start doing some deeper dives we'll start making some uh places to hang out and hopefully we'll be able to get all the pieces we need to build the sea moth which will really open up the game for us and that's when uh that's when things will get really fun so until uh, the next time I can get one of these recorded, I'm hoping to do one probably like every Sunday. That would be uh, the ultimate goal for me, just to kind of call it Subnautica Sunday for right now. And um, and we'll get back to uh, the long dark on Tuesday. So. Survivor, you have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. And on that note, thank you, Aurora, and we will call it. A... Thank you very much for joining me. We'll catch you on the next one.